Hey everyone, Daniel here from Tech65. In this video, film for the Sony Vio P Ultra Portable uh, review, um, I'm going to be showing you one of the advantages of having Windows Vista uh, installed with the Sony Vio P instead of something, say, Windows XP. Now, as, as much as uh, we all know, you know, Windows Vista is really slow and stuff like that, um, but there are some advantages, and I just want to show you one of them, and that is um, the great compatibility and the software that's built into Windows Vista for uh, for use with a Bluetooth-enabled mobile phone. Okay, so uh, the, the one of the, the first feature I want to show you is how easy it is to one to pair the phone, two to get the phone to use this phone as a 3G Bluetooth modem and uh, get this computer to go onto the internet, you know, um, without Wi-Fi and but instead of using a phone instead. Okay, so the first thing to do is to enable Bluetooth on the computer followed by enabling Bluetooth on the phone. The phone I'm using right here is the Samsung Ultra Touch uh, device that just began on sale on 28th of March 2009 in Singapore. Go to the Bluetooth icon, click on, um, so you can see here, add a Bluetooth device. So we'll come to the pairing window. It's going to search for the device. It's found my phone here. Click on next. It's going to connect to the device. And uh, this is actually an interesting feature that's uh, found in the newer phones. It's actually gonna, instead of having you to come up with a, a, a key, it's gonna put the, come up with its own key and just send it to the phone. And all you have to do is just make sure both the numbers pair. So the numbers did pair. I'm gonna say yes. Click next and click yes here as well. And it's been successfully paired. Now it's configuring the software and um, pairing it, installing the drivers for the phone. It's going to take a little while, but you only have to do this once, okay? So, like I said, this is, um, I think it's a great feature because in the past you have to just type in 1, 2, 3, 4 and it's not really going to be very secure and all that kind of stuff. So, yep, here it is. It's done. The device has been paired. Click on close. I'm going to right-click the Bluetooth icon again. This is what you will normally do when you want to connect it. So, go to show Bluetooth devices and uh, the phone is going to be appearing here in this window and I'm going to double click this and it's going to be opening this this particular window so this is pretty cool Bluetooth phone operations and settings and it comes with a lot of uh, features and drag this a little bit so you can see it you have uh, connect to the internet make a phone call this is pretty cool listen to audio from your phone uh, through your computer speakers and use this computer as a headset on speakerphone for calls on your phone. So this is very cool. Okay, and they're all built in right here into Windows Vista, no extra applications. And I'm just going to click on, you notice all there is is connect, there's no setup, no, no nothing. I'm just click on connect and uh, immediately it's going to connect to my phone. My phone just turns itself on, connecting, opening port, registering computer to network. Oops, connection cannot be uh, redial. Let me try again. Opening port, dialing, registering computer to the network. Connected. And there, here we are, we're all on the internet. So it's ticked. Um, that little error, i never seen the error before. This is the first time I encountered it, probably because I took a few takes to do this and probably might have messed some stuff up. So, okay, here's the Google Chrome web browser. I'm going to go to tech65.org. I'm going to give that a try. So, if you take a look at the phone itself, it's probably not going to be able to focus, but... Um, um, actually connecting you can see the little icon here flashing it's blur but you can see it and it's connecting to the internet um, okay tech 65 is not a good example because our website's a little slow so let me just go to google.com and show you internal tech 65 and this is all coming through the mobile phone itself, right? So um, if you can see the Wi-Fi isn't on, I don't think you can see it, but the Wi-Fi isn't on. If this is the Wi-Fi, 
and it's not on, and uh, yet I can use the internet. So it's pretty cool, very easy. Now the difference between this and, and Windows XP, for example, Windows XP can do this as well, but the difference is that you don't need to know your username, you don't need to know the telephone number to dial, and all that kind of stuff, and it's really easy to use it. You don't have to know any settings, it's just going to use the settings that's already found inside your phone. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a look at some other features you can do with this. So th the next one is pretty interesting. Listen to audio from your phone through this computer speaker. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on connect and it's connected. So um, all I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to go to... Oops. Uh, okay, I'm going to go to my... Let me disconnect this from the internet first. Okay. Sorry. A bit out of focus. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click on connect for this particular one, and I'm gonna go to the, my music player. Okay, Tech 65 connected. You can see that um, I can actually control. I'm gonna click on pause, and the music is gonna stop playing. I'm gonna play, and the music is playing. And to prove that it's coming out from the speakers on the Vial P, I'm gonna mute the Vial P speakers. And there you go. And I'm gonna unmute it. The sound is gonna come back. Pretty cool. And I can just pause this, and the music's gonna stop. So this is one of some of the cool features that you can actually do, and um, uh, you know, it's one of the it's pretty good for good for an ultra portable because the only other device you're gonna always be carrying around with you is your computer and your phone, and that's all. Plus, the computer is really small, and the battery life using Bluetooth with internet is about an, uh, about two hours, an hour and a half to about two hours. Uh, I usually use this on the train on the way to work and on the way back. Um, so, yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Daniel. See you guys next time. Bye.